Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about cell junctions. To be very specific, intercellular junctions. Now these are the uh, junctions that are found between epithelial cells. We know that epithelial cells all are linked with each other. They are connected to each other and also to their matrix. And intercellular junctions are the junctions that are found between the adjacent epithelial cells. And they help in holding these cells together. So intercellular junctions mediate cellular interaction between the adjacent epithelial cells, right? This is how something like this it would look like. You guys know I'm not that good with drawing, so just bear with me. So these epithelial cells are all attached together, you know, and they interact with each other. That is because of the intercellular junctions. Intercellular junctions would be the connections between these cells, okay, one cell to another cell. Now along with, uh, you know, linking these cells together or attaching these cells together, also intercellular junctions provide the ability uh, to resist stress and it also allows the cells to communicate with each other. Now as we will go on in the video we will understand how these properties are given to the cell. So there are three types of intercellular junctions that are present and the first one is tight junction. As the name itself says that these kind of junctions are really tight and they actually seals off the uh, plasma membrane of two neighboring cells. Okay, if you can uh, look at these epithelial cells, there is absolutely no space between these cells, right? These uh, plasma membrane of these cells are actually almost fused together and if you look at the side view, uh, tight junctions actually literally stitches both the uh, neighboring cell plasma membrane okay it will absolutely not have any space in between it is a watertight seal okay and because of that it prevents any kind of material uh, to you know pass through the space in between the cell there is no space so it, it just stops any kind of leakage uh, from between the cells so because of this if any molecule water molecule or any other uh, ions or anything which has to pass from this uh, side of epithelial sheet to the other side it must pass through the cell okay by any mean of transport it must pass through the cell and this tight junction is actually uh, you know if I want to give an example it is so tight to understand uh, in one of the video we were talking about the lateral movement of integral proteins present in the plasma membrane you know it's not uh, you know at one particular place it is not fixed it keeps moving so this lateral movement of integral protein also cannot pass through the space it is that tight and so because of such tight junction it makes sure it provides a barrier for any kind of free diffusion of water or solutes from uh, you know one side of uh, epithelial cell sheets to another side and it is very very important say for example in organs like bladder you know we cannot afford having any kind of leakage through the cells or between the cells also in intestine there cannot be a free passage of substances uh, from the space between the cells so we would find uh, these tight junctions in the tissues uh, in organs like bladder and intestine where any kind of leakage is not good for the body also we know about blood brain barrier this is very very important no substances absolutely nothing can simply pass through this blood brain barrier so, so they are also present in blood brain barrier now we know that in our skin they are not permeable to water as in like uh, there is no space between the cells for water to simply uh, pass through so this impermeability is also because of the tight junction otherwise you know imagine you don't have tight junctions in our skin cell what would happen we can easily get dehydrated or if you just you know stand under water simply we are going to take all the water in the body which is of course not feasible so the impermeability of skin to water is also because of the presence of the tight junctions they give the watertight seal absolutely nothing can pass through so we know how important it is right because if tight junctions are not there just imagine how worse the situation can be so to stop any kind of leakage or just you know flow of simply materials in from in between the cells tight junctions play very important role
and structurally uh, the tight junction is made up of occludin and claudins just for the information we can go in detail about this some other time but the structural components of tight junction is occludin and claudins so the next type of uh, intercellular junction is gap junction now gap junctions again if you look at the term you will see gap right so there is a gap between the cells these type of junctions actually connect to adjacent uh, epithelial cells by forming channel between them okay more like a molecular pipelines if you can imagine that let me just uh, try to put a diagram something like this okay they, it is not going to be tightly packed the cells are not going to be tightly packed over here there will be uh, some gap between the cells and the connection between these two neighboring cell would be through a channel okay it's a channel formed between two cells and if you look at the close up something like this it is made up of uh, six connexin proteins you know when six connexin proteins come together in a circular form it forms a channel okay something like this in a simple way if i want to show this is actually made up of six connexin protein and when six connexin proteins come and make a cylindrical form like this it is called one connexon okay so there is one connexon of this cell and one connexon of this cell coming together against each other and forming a continuous pipeline between these two cells and through this channel actually flow of water and ions could takes place from one cell to another cell now since it allows the passage of molecules from one cell to another they are the kind of junctions that are found in muscle tissues like cardiac cells which allows the flow of calcium ions from one cell to another cell because of that propagation of action potential would takes place causing the contraction of heart and giving us the heart beat right so that's how gap junctions are important uh, interconnections between the epithelial cells the next and uh, last uh, type of intercellular uh, junction is desmosomes now desmosomes act more like spot wells between two cells okay that's how they connect two cells and it is uh, not that tight uh, like tight junction so it do not prevent any kind of substances from moving or passing between the cells okay and uh, structurally if you want to see how it looks like so this is how they are formed okay they would be created by linkage between the cadherin molecules of two adjacent epithelial cells and the cadherin molecules would be linked to the intermediate filament inside the cell so that means desmosomes are very very strong uh, adhesive bonds between two epithelial cells because it is connected to the intermediate filaments right so if you look at this little more close up you know these are the cadherin molecules of uh, neighboring epithelial cells they interlinked with each other make a polymer like this and inside of the cell they would be attached to the intermediate filament of that particular epithelial cells and because of that they give a very strong adhesive bond and it because of this it gives the mechanical strength to tissue it is very very strong now if you say that they give mechanical strength to tissue so it would be easy to understand where they will be present so they would be present in tissues that are exposed to some kind of stretching or pressure like your skin cells and, and intestinal tissues skin uh, you know if you just stretch your skin the cells do not fall apart isn't it that is because of the presence of desmosomes in the skin cells now we just saw that in skin cell tight junctions are also present along with desmosomes so it is possible that in one particular cell there can be more than one type of intercellular junctions present so that's all about intercellular junctions we just saw that there are three types of uh, intercellular junctions tight junctions which give them watertight seal and allows no substances to pass between the cells then gap junctions which allows water and ions to flow from one cell to another allowing the cells to communicate with each other and desmosomes are very adhesive bonds present between cells giving them uh, strength against the mechanical stress so that's all for now i hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning